we live in a litigious world. Uh, everywhere you look, like take pro sports, for instance, like the league commissioner isn't an ex-owner, ex-player, or like a union organizer. They're lawyers. So like how has your law school background helped you navigate the business world? Well, I think that it's been helpful, right? And there's twofold. One, I have a acceptable understanding of contracts, negotiations, going through leases. And I think a really big thing is very early in my career, it lent a lot of credibility to me being a good operator or intelligent because having the CrossFit gyms, I think we did a great job with them, but your natural inclination of somebody who owns a gym or a couple gyms might not be that they're the most like nuanced entrepreneur might not be that they're the most like business savvy individual. And I'm not saying that I even was at the time, but I think having that law degree kind of allowed me to step into my next roles, which were a bit, I think you'd say higher level. And that lent a lot of credibility. So that having that law degree got me the consulting position with the guy that ended up being my business partner, right? Because he had a software as a service legal tech firm. But even if you don't have a law degree, I think it's super important in business that like you're looking over all of your contracts and anyone can really learn a lot about law just by going through Google, right? Like 30, 40 years ago, this wasn't the case, but like for you, if you were like needing to negotiate some contract, like sure, you hope your attorney does a great job. Like I hope my attorneys do a great job. I'm always going to double check the important work and I, I would recommend any kind of owner to be doing the same, but yeah, it was helpful. Uh, we live in a litigious world, but realistically, like the best in-house attorneys are going to like help you avoid litigation because it's so much better just to not have to deal with like a lawsuit if you can. Amen to that.